this may seem like a moment gone horribly wrong. But catastrophic failure, in this case, is the whole point. Here at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, where NASA has tested rockets and other spacecraft for more than 60 years, the work today is down in the trenches. We're actually standing in the flame trench from the, on the test stand that tested the first Saturn I rockets for the Apollo program. Engineers at Sierra Space are using this historic site to take a subscale version of its inflatable space habitat to ultimate failure. They will inflate this unit with gaseous nitrogen until it bursts under pressure. It's just one of many tests along the path to NASA certification for the company's life habitat. Life is our large, integrated, flexible environment. Beth Shapey is the lead engineer for this ultimate burst pressure test. The full-scale life habitat will inflate to the size of a three-story apartment building on orbit, which is exactly where Sierra Space plans to put one later this decade. So this here, this blue is our test stand. This holds our article in place while we pressurize it. Some of these lines, all these are data cables. So these are measuring uh, the pressure or the temperature. We've multiplied our, our number of ground anchors by four. Uh, chains going kind of laterally in an X pattern across. And that should keep this thing down once all the pressure releases. James Kerwin is with ILC Dover, the engineering firm that builds test articles for Sierra Space. The goal is to repeat the results of a successful burst test that happened just a few months ago at NASA's Johnson Space Center. We'd like to demonstrate repeatability. Uh, that'll show that our design, our manufacturing processes, our quality processes are all repeatable from one test article to the next. Now today's test day. Uh, we've been working towards this for several months. It's gonna be fantastic. A little bit of rain outside. So it's currently raining right now. So we have the, uh, we have actually three tarps over the test article to keep it dry. We're gonna go to two PSI, should take 30 seconds or less. When the rain lets up, NASA managers make the call to start the test. All right, BJ, let's go ahead and uh, add a little bit more pressure. The goal is to climb past 180 PSI or pounds per square inch of pressure, NASA's threshold for certification. Pressurize up to 120 PSI for a five minute hold. Yeah. <laughs> the previous Sierra space test exceeded that mark, bursting at 192 PSI. As the pressure increases, the team anxiously watches the numbers climb even higher than the first test. 199, there it goes. Until... We just had a successful burst test at around 204 PSIG, which is way higher than last time. Down in that soggy flame trench, not much remains of the test article. Its woven fabric is scattered, tattered, and torn. But the life habitat has passed another critical test. A little bit of debris, a little bit of shrapnel. Yeah, a little bit of carcass left on there. Yeah, you can see the core still remains. As the team inspects the scene of destruction, they're already looking ahead to next year. They plan to bring a full-size module 27 feet in diameter to ultimate burst pressure right here. You might call it the next Big Bang. I'm John Zarella for Sierra Space. <laughs> That's a wrap.